Hi, and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Thank you for joining me here today. Today, I'm very excited to bring this word. The Lord inspired me to talk about really the importance of spending time connecting with God. Outside of church, outside of your Bible studies, or maybe you don't do Bible studies, but outside of all those meditations and all those times alone that you maybe study the scripture and the Lord wants you to spend time with God alone with God praying to the Lord growing your relationship with God you see this often when people first learn about Jesus when they first give their lives and they repent and they seek forgiveness you see this a lot People will often walk the path and then they'll fall off. Maybe they'll keep walking the path and everything will be great. And then a decade later, they fall off. Or ten, two decades later, or three weeks, or a couple of months. Why? Why does that happen? The short answer is that people are not seeking the Lord all the time. They're not growing their relationship with God. They're not spending time so that the Lord can enlighten them and guide them. They're not surrendering in their faith to the Lord. And as a result, all the seeds of wisdom that they may be meditating on, that they might learn about in church, that they may stumble upon during a church group or during a Bible study group or whatever it may be, the roots of God's seed, okay, will not take root in that person and it will not grow into a beautiful tree all why because God has not made it grow okay it's not people that make that seed grow it's time with the Lord and it's only by God's hands that the seed grows so I'm going to share a word with all of you from the book of Luke chapter 8 it's the parable of the sower so Jesus, a large crowd had gathered before him, and Jesus starts to tell them this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, it was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. This is like real life, okay? The seed gets planted in you. Whatever that seed is, a seed of wisdom, a little treasure, a gem, and then something happens, something comes along, and that gem and that wisdom is taken away from you. Why? Many reasons, okay? You didn't protect it. You didn't surrender to the Lord. You didn't have faith. You didn't seek God, and it got taken from you. Okay? And that happens. The lack of obedience can happen to anyone. <clears throat> some fell on rocky ground and when it came up the plants withered because they had no moisture the living water is the Lord without seeking the Lord you won't have water plants need water to grow other seed fell among thorns which grew up with it and choked the plants people that you may be around that don't walk in the spirit, that don't surrender their lives to God. If you don't think that those people can affect you, if you don't continuously turn your hearts to the Lord day in and day out, and if you don't truly separate yourselves from those people, you're wrong. You're wrong. If you think that other people aren't going to eventually have influence over you, when they're around you all the time and you're spending a lot of time with them, you're being delusional, okay? And this happens to a lot of people. And then the seeds, I experienced this myself, personally, okay? Being around people who don't have the same beliefs as me. Of course not, right? And then finding myself having to learn how to truly walk in the spirit with the Lord and to not live my life in a way like other people where I'm going back and forth. I never used to live like this anyway. 
I don't go back and forth with people. Me personally, you're going to get a lot of silence. And it's not called the silent treatment. It's called silence. It's called peace for everybody. Okay? Nothing good comes of going back and forth with people. Getting things crazy. Nothing good comes out of it. If you can't be productive in a conversation, if you can't be respectful, if you can't come to a solution, it's always best to walk away and to be silent so that you don't hurt somebody or say something you don't mean or whatever it may be. Allow God to lead you. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up, that's what you're right. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. And when he said this, he called out, whoever has ears to ear, hear, let him hear. The disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom has been given to you, but to others I speak in parables, so that though seeing they may not see, and though hearing they may not understand. This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear. And the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in time of testing, they fell away because they didn't seek the living water. They didn't seek the Lord. You have to seek God in all things. If you seek God in all things and you're truly surrendering your life to the Lord, God will never abandon you nor forsaken you. The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not mature. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. You know, I was thinking earlier, nothing that I've ever done that is really worth talking about didn't come about as a result of a lot of perseverance, a lot of work, and a lot of challenges. Nothing. I'm not kidding. Zero. Everything I've always accomplished. I want to continue on and read a little bit more from the scripture. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, it says here Paul was speaking. And he's saying here, it says here, I planted the seed and Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have no purpose and they will each be rewarded according to their labor for we are co-workers in God's service and you are God's field God's building every day please seek the Lord whatever you are facing whatever challenges you have God always makes a way God always opens doors God always clears a path God always goes before you God makes things happen always and i mean look don't take my word for it just go through with the actions yourself okay and see that god always makes good on god's promises you can trust in the lord lord thank you for this word thank you for this message we all need that constant reminder to turn our hearts to you every single day to surrender ourselves to you that we may know once we have taken our eyes off of you, God, once we have started to focus on others, once we have started to focus on things that you've told us not to, that we are on the wrong path, Lord, and may you guide us back home to focusing on you. Thank you, Lord, for always guiding me. I pray for the same for everyone. Thank you for guiding all of us. Thank you for enlightening us. Thank you for giving us wisdom. Thank you for giving us courage and strength. Thank you for giving us great health. Thank you for giving us a great mind and ability to speak and to articulate all the wonderful things that you have to offer us. Lord, thank you for everything. I pray that anyone who gets this word, may they be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I hope this word blesses you all. May you find healing, 
in any of the words that I have posted online. May you find your way to the Lord and may your spirit of conviction grow. Take care and God bless.